Hi, it's Nick S. Welcome back to the CD Man channel. It's Wednesday morning, if you're watching this when it premieres. And this is what I've been purchasing. And this is a big week for new releases. We're going to divide this into three parts, though. I don't know how to put them in the bottom of the screen of the uh, content. So there'll be three parts of this video. New releases. There's a slew of new releases this week. Uh, a tribute to Creed Taylor, CTI uh, um, owner of CTI Records and producer, super producer for jazz records in the 60s, 70s. And um, some stuff for the charts. Let's start with our. Let's start with the new releases. The first one is rapper Black Bear. He's had several top forty records. Not going to remember which ones they were at this moment, but several records. And Columbia Records released his latest release, entitled "In Loving Memory." Black Bear. Next up, Bastille's released a re-release of an album. I don't know if these were digitally released before the second part, but I know it's called. Um, name of this Bastille give me the future and dreams of the past Bastille if you're not familiar with Bastille you might be familiar with their single Pompeii which was a top 10 record they were also on Saturday Night Live with television with, with with actor um, Jonah Hill a couple of years ago next one is a new album by uh, kind of roots country artist um, Steve Earle and the Dukes a tribute to Jerry Jeff Walker called Jerry Jeff um, there were four parts to a new Tedeschi Trucks EP series this year. Tedeschi Trucks Band uh, EP series. If you're not familiar with the Tedeschi Trucks Band, that's Susan Tedeschi, blues guitarist and vocalist, and Butch Trucks, her husband. Tedeschi Trucks Band Part 4, the last part, I Am the Moon, Fair, for Four Farewell came out. One of the hottest new releases of the week is Rocker's Muse. Matthew Bellamy and Company, Will of the People came out this week. Already on digital, but now on CD, is Lupe Fiasco. His rap album, Drill Music is uh, Drill Music in Zion, I think it's called. Yes, that came out this week. Uh, AAA vocalist and guitarist Marcus King came out with a new album this week. His album is called da -da -da -da, Youngblood, Marcus King. Uh, in 1982, Peter Gabriel spearheaded the Womad Festival. Now that album, let me just take a listen to, look and see who's on here. Includes... Womad performances from, uh, let's see, uh, The Beat, Peter Gabriel, Robert Fripp, Echo and the Bunnymen, um, The Chieftains, Simple Minds, Peter Hamill, Peter Gabriel featuring, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, Ekbone, Ekone, among others. And there's a new album has come out called Live at Womad 1982. And there it is. It's on Peter Gabriel's Real, real I think it's called Real... Let me get the label on it. Peter Gabriel's Real World Records. Okay, a brand new album by rapper DJ Khaled has come out. And that album probably will be number one on the Billboard 200. That's my pick for number one on the Billboard 200. Album's called um, God Did. And it features, excuse me, Drake, Rick Ross, Little Wayne, Jay-Z, John Legend, Kanye West, Eminem, Lil Baby, Future, Quavo, Takeoff, Dre, um, SZA, Nardo Wick, Kodak Black, Don Tolliver, Travis Scott, Gunna, Roddy Rich, Lost Boys, uh, City, sorry, City Girls, Lotto, 21 Savage, Buju Banton, Capleton, Bounty Killer, SZA, Sizzla, that's, excuse me, the reggae artist Sizzla, Juice World, Jadakiss, among others. And that's out this week. I believe this looks like it might be a direct, let's open it, let's actually do an unbox get this one here. I am led to believe this is a direct to um, Amazon release, and it was not um, physically released, but we're going to find that out right now. No, it's not. No, it is not. It is an actual everywhere release. This one is directed to Amazon. You can tell from the back of the CD. It's a new one from Megan the Stallion, Traumazine. It's been out digitally, but now it's out on CD. It features the singles. I get the names of these singles. Um... Or they can Plan B and Sweetest Pie featuring Dua Lipa. And you can tell, if, I don't know if you can see this here, you can tell it looks like a phony CD. It's made to order from Amazon. Okay, Valerie June is back. She's a vocal, AAA vocalist with a new album called Undercover. And Valerie covers Pink Moon by Nick Drake, Fade Into You by Mazzy Starr, um, Imagine by John Lennon, 
Tonight, I'll be staying here with you by Bob Dylan, Into My Arms by the um, Lemonheads, among others. Sounds like an interesting buy. Blondie released a big, big, big box set this week. The name of the album is called Against All Odds in 74 to 1982. They also released a smaller version of the box set. Here it is, with just the rarities on it. Three discs of rarities. Love this. It looks awesome. Awesome stuff. Head over to Brendan Schneider's channel if you want to see an unboxing of the big box set. Him and his friend Anthony from Sound Exchange Records did a big unboxing of this. I'm not going to try to repeat that. Let them have the thunder for that. Okay, next up we have Jazz's Yellow Jackets. Parallel Motion is out this week. We've also got a new album by country singer Ingrid Andrus. Ingrid's back with a new album, and it's called, let me see, Good Person. And I believe the single on the album is called, let me get the name of the single. Oh, there's no single in town that I know about. There probably is one I don't know. I'm not aware of what it is. Uh, this is one that's left over. I had a hard time getting it. Amazon had to send me a re, a re uh, a repackage for this one. And it's got everything they've ever released. If you look at Joel Whitburn's Top Pop Singles book, everything that's in the Top Pop Singles book, the classics and the singles, is on this album. It's an import album by the Yardbirds, Heart Full of Soul, the best of. If you're not familiar with the Yardbirds, Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton were among members during its time in the 60s. Next up, um, a new album by rapper Youngboy Never Broke Again. The album's called The Last Slime Meadow. It was digitally released and now it's physically on CD. We also have Vince Guaraldi Trio. The other ones who do the, the Charlie Brown uh, specials or did the Charlie Brown specials in the 60s and 70s. It's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, Vince Guaraldi Trio. Don't not sure if this has been reissued before and what to what format, but hey, it's out. And the album of the week belongs to a reggae group that um, I first learned over their single Lay Me Down with Rome from Sublime. They're back with a new album called Midnight Control. And the single is a cover of Joe Walsh's Life's Been Good. It's Midnight Control by the Dirty Heads. Album of the week this week. So let me get this out of the way and we'll go on to part two. Hold on, let me get it out of the way and we'll go to part two. Here's part two, okay. Okay, bear with me, I'll go to part two. Um, part two of the video is going to be uh, my jazz records for the week, mostly that, and, then, and one album that I trashed in my what I've been listening to uh, album for the week. And uh, we're paying tribute to Creed Taylor. Now Creed started CTI Records and produced artists as diverse as J um, Grover Washington Jr. Um, Creed also produced records for um, Nina Simone, for Esther Phillips, and for many others. Now, when I heard of Creed Taylor's passing, shout out goes to Gil Paris, my guitar buddy, who plays at our jam night. He was the one who put it on his Facebook page. Thank you, Gil. Anyway, um, I went and bought a whole bunch of C CTI Records re recordings. And for this section of the video, I'm going to open the albums and, and read you who is playing on each album and what we got here, the years and everything like that, if I can do the best I can. There are still many to come. I haven't gotten them yet. They'll be in future videos, but this is the pile for this week. We start off with an album by the great Kenny Burrell, guitarist Kenny Burrell, called God Bless the Child. The album is from, let me get the year on here, 1971. Creed produced this one. And it features the class, uh, Kenny doing the classic a Child is Born and the classic God Bless the Child. Plus, as bonus tracks, Bower to the Sad Young Man and Lost in the Stars from the Broadway musical Lost in the Stars. And playing with Kenny on this album, I can get it correctly, let me get it correctly, give me a second. Playing with Kenny on this album are Ron Carter on bass, Billy Cobham on drums, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, Her Hubert Laws on flute, track three, Hugh Lawson, Richard Windus, Ray Barreto, Artiro, and it's great stuff indeed. And once again, that's Kenny Burrell and God Bless This Child. Next up, another Creed Taylor production, this time from Astrid Gilberto. If you've heard the song The Girl from Ipanema by Getz Gilberto, you've heard Astrid's voice. And this time she's joining up with Stanley Tarantine for an album called Gilberto with Tarantine. 
Um, on this album is a cover of, let me get the name of Travel and Light, the old, uh, I believe the old Billie Holiday song. And playing with Astrid and Stanley on the album are, let me get the name of that, are, hold on, let me see where I got, where's the list here? Are Yumar Deodato on electric piano, and I guess Stanley Turrentine. Great stuff. Up next, we have an album by Erlato called Free. Also was released as the album um, Return to Forever. I might be getting that one too. Anyway, this one's from the year of 1972. to 1988 pressing. And uh, let's see who's on here. To make sure, let me give you a full answer of who's on this one too. On the album is Erlato, Percussion and Flutes. Ron Carter, Stanley Clark, Chick Corea, Keith Jarrett, Hubert Laws, Joe Farrell, George Benson. Um, let me see anybody else. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, good stuff from Arletto called Arletto or Arletto Free. Up next is a legendary, legendary uh, jazz artist. It's one of the first albums I own from this artist. Not the, and it's Chet Baker. She was too good to me. The album features a cover of Autumn Leaves, cover of Tangerine, cover with a, of with a song in my heart, cover of What I'll Do, and playing on the album with Chet is let me get to get this right, is Paul on Chet is trumpet and vocal, on alto saxophone is Paul Desmond, on electric piano is Bob James, on bass is Ron Carter, on drums is Jack D. Jeanette. And Steve Gadd and Hubert Laws is on flute. Good, 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 good stuff. Up next, a man who's most famous for doing the theme Angela to the television series Taxi, the comedy from uh, James Burroughs from the late 1970s and early 1980s, Tony Danza, Judd Hirsch, Mary Lou Henner, etc. Anyway, that's Bob James. The album's called Three. This album features the track Westchester Lady. If you're a Freshman's and Bel Air fan, one of the songs they did, I uh, used that as a sample. And on this album is, let me, get, let me get the information here. On the album here is Bob James, Grover Washington Jr., Harvey Mason, Will Lee, Eric Gale, Hugh McCracken, Ralph McDonald, Hubert Laws, among others. That's three by Bob James. And you can find that wonderful Angela, which is another great record by Bob James, on the album, I don't remember the name of the album, Touchdown, I believe it's called Touchdown. Up next, uh, good, um, let, me get the, let me get the instrument you played first. Um, we got two albums by um, bassist Ron Carter. This one features Richard H Roland Hanna, Richard T., Billy Cobham, and jo Joe Henderson. The album's called All Blues, Ron Carter. It features covers of All, um, All Blues, the Miles Davis classic, and some new songs by Ron Carter himself. Another Ron Carter release I got this week was the Creed Taylor produced Spanish Blue from 1975. And... Let me, get the, let me get the information for this album. Give me a second. On this album was Ron Carter, Billy Cobham on the drums, Jay Berliner on the guitar, Ralph McDonald on the, on the percussion, Hubert Laws on the flute, Roland Hand on the piano, and Leon Pandarvis, better known as being a member of the SNL band on electric piano, Ron Carter and Spanish Blue. On this is 11-minute version of Miles Davis' so, so What? And that was the focus track on the album. Up next, one of several albums this week for the great George Benson. Now, many don't know, but George appeared on CTI Records before going to Warner Brothers Records for more mainstream success with tracks like This Masquerade, Give Me the Night, and Turn Your Love Around. He did an album with Joe Farrell, which came out in the year 1970, in the 70s. And a lot of the songs were written by David Matthews, not that Dave Matthews, but the jazz Dave Matthews. He also covered Old Dever Moon, and it's called Benson and Farrell. 
Another one from George Benson that I got. And the title track is the cover of the Aaron Neville classic, is Tell It Like It Is. Also on here is Soul Limbo, the old Booker T song. Um, Land of a Thousand Dances. Um, let see. My Sherry Amore. See if I can get a track. See if I can get an artist listing on here. Yes. And playing music, playing with, with George in this album is um, Richard T. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. Richard T. Joe Henderson, Hubert Laws. Um, and that's it. And it's George Benson. And tell it like it is. And the album is from. You get a year on this. Let me see. What you oh, the album was recorded in 1969. Up next, another George Benson. This is one of this is probably his most famous album before joining Warner Brothers Records. It's called The Other Side of Abbey Road. And it features Beatles classics, mainly from Abbey Road. A medley of Golden Slumbers and Never Give Me Your Money. Because and Come Together. Oh Darling. Here comes the Sun. I Want You See So Heavy. And something Octopus's Garden in the End. And the album is from Creed Taylor. And playing with George on this album is. Kirby Hancock, Bob James, Ron Carter, Idris Muhammad, Ray Barreto, um, let's see, Freddie Hubbard, Hubert Laws, great, great, great stuff. Uh, another George Benson I got this week. Now, there's still more George Benson, believe it or not, to come. But another George Benson I got was The Shape to Come, Shape of Things to Come, excuse me. The album was from, let me get the year on here, hold on. We get the year, or at least the year it was recorded. The album was recorded in 1968, and it features the great foot in it, which is my favorite song on the album. Very funky recording for the early, for early George. Sorry for the cover like that. Also features Shape of Things to Come, Chattanooga Choo Choo, and Last Train to George's great version of Last Train to Clarksville. Playing with George in this album are Herbie Hancock, Hank Jones. Charles Covington, Ron Carter, um, and it looks like any of the people I know, anyway. Great, great, great stuff. Now, we had an album called Benson and, he and, and Farrell a while ago. I got a five-pack of albums by the great Joe Farrell. Now, I'm not going to go through all these albums and find out who played it and who what, or what the years were, but the five albums in the package are, let me turn around, you got... Joe Farrell Quartet, Outback, Penny Arcade, Upon This Rock, and Tanned Funk. Great stuff. Next up, another one. I'm going to probably butcher his last name, but it's Don Sebesky, Giant Box. Don is joined by Freddie Hubbard. Sorry. Hubert Laws, Paul Desmond, Joe, Joe Farrell, Grover Washington Jr., Milt Jackson, George Benson, Bob James, Ron Carter, Billy Cobham, Jack DeJanette, Airto. On a great album, the the most popular track is Freebird, Birds of Fire, but also Joni Mitchell's song to a seagull is on there. Um, Jim Jimmy Webb's Psalm 5, 150 is on there, and some originals. Also, a Sergio Rachmaninoff vocalist is on there. Great stuff. Okay. Next up, I received an album by Jim Hall called Concerto. See that there? Um, Jim Hall is joined by Chet Baker, Paul Desmond. Roland Hanna, Ron Carter, and Steve Gadd. Tracks include you're, you're so nice, you'd be you'd be so nice to come home to. And Concerto di Anwaz, which I believe is the the most popular track from the album, cover of a Miles Davis classic. Next up, and I got a lot more from this artist to come, but haven't gotten it all yet. I only got one album from him so far. Is Stanley Turrentine. This is probably his most popular album, and the title cut is a cover of the um, track from, I'm going to remember his name, Marvin Gaye, Don't Mess With Mr. T. Uh, okay, Don't Mess With Mr. T. The album's from 1973, and who plays with Stanley on the album? We're just about to find out. Let's see here. And playing with Stanley on the album are Bob James on keyboards, Richard T. on organ, Harold Mayber Mayburn on piano, Idris Muhammad on drums, Rubens Basni, B-A-S-S-I-N-I -S -S -I on percussion, and Ron Carter on bass. Look out for more um, Stanley Turrentine in future videos as I'm getting more in the mail. 
Okay, I got, I got several Freddie Hubbard albums. First thing I got was 19... Let me get the year. Nine, recorded in 1970, the album called Straight Life. The album features Freddie Hubbard, Joe Henderson, George Benson, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Jack DeJanet, Rich, Richie Landrum, and Walden Irvin. It's only three tracks, but it's a really good thing. Stuff. Next up, this is supposed to be in the new release section, as it's been delayed several weeks, but it is a jazz album, though it's not Creed Taylor, so I'm going to include it here. That would be Al Demiola, John McLaughlin, and Paco de Luzza with a newly rediscovered Saturday Night at San Francisco. You may remember, they have released a, Sat a Friday Night at San Francisco years ago. Classic, classic album. Discovered now is Saturday Night at San Francisco. Same 1980s concert series. Great stuff. Highly recommend it. Okay. Up next, I got two albums by Hubert Laws, flute player Hubert Laws. The first one I got was from 1972 called Wildflower. On, this is a remake, reissue on the Collectibles label. I'm kind of surprised to see Collectibles releasing a great jazz album like this, but hey, not complaining. On the album, we've got let me see who's on here. Hold on. Hubert Laws. I'm trying to think anybody I've heard it before. Um, let me see. Anybody else I've heard it? Okay, never heard of it. You know, I've never heard of it. Uh, Ron Carter. Um, uh, Hubert Laws. Chick Corea. Gary Burton. Ma Mongo Santa Maria. Among others. Joe Chambers. Great stuff. Next up, we got another Hubert Laws album, Afro Classic. The album was from, and I'm not sure the year of this album, it doesn't say, but Afro Classic. The album features Bob James, Ron Carter, um, Air, Airto, Dan Sebesky is the arranger, and the most popular track in the album was a cover of James Taylor's 1970 hit, Fire and Rain. Also on here is Elagio from Concerto Number no. 3 in D, the Bach classic. Theme from Love Story by Francis Lay. Another Bach composition, Passaglia in C minor. And a flute sonata in F with Mozart. Great stuff from Hubert Laws. Next up we got it. We got two. The last up for the jazz titles is two more. Hank Crawford from 1972. There'll be more Hank Crawford in future videos. But this one's called We've Got a Good Thing Going. It's the album I listened to last week, digitally, before I bought it. Great stuff. It also fe it features We've Got a Good Thing Going, The Christmas Song, Alone Again Naturally, Winter Wonderland, Bet You My Golly, Wow, the old uh, Stylistics classic. This is all I asked, the old record by um, Tony Bennett. And playing with Hank on the album is Bernard Perdue on the drums, Ron Carter on the bass, George Benson on the guitar, Cornell Dupree on the guitar, Richard T. on the electric piano. Great stuff. I thoroughly enjoy what I've heard of this album so far and look forward to hearing it more. And the last jazz album for the, la for the second section of the thing is Freddie Hubbard. The album's called Skydive. This one features Freddie along with Hubert Laws. Let me get the cover in there. Freddie along with Hubert Laws, Keith Jarrett, George Benson, Ron Carter, and Billy Cobham. I'm a big Keith Jarrett fan. So this is really exciting. And they're all... Um, actually, there's a Bix Benderby track on here in the in a mist. <coughs> and a jazz cover of The Godfather from the Paramount Motion Picture, The Godfather by Nino Rada. And two tracks, including the cover, the title song, Skydive by Freddie Hubbard. Now, take a, di a, a detour a little bit. I missed out on a new release. And that is an album that I, in, I, in my recent, what I've been listening to videos, have trashed. Now, I have to do some explaining. Rocker Alanis Morissette has done many things in her career, including Broadway musical, Jagged Little Pill, I believe it's called Jagged Little Pill, and many rock albums. For her latest album, she took the sound I'm going to call the calm sound in music. If, you, if, if you're familiar with the calm app, you would understand that's the kind of sound of music that you'd get on this album. Now, I know some people might love that sound, and I'm not saying that you're wrong for loving that sound. I don't like it. It's not my thing. And so I had to trash this album, but I do have it, so I will include it. It's called The Storm Before the Calm, 
by Lannis Morizet. What since I've been doing this channel, this is the most disappointing album I've I've received. Believe me, if I knew that's what it was before I bought it, I would not have bought it. Last but not least, we're gonna go for the chart stuff. If you'll bear with me a moment, I'm gonna get it. It's over here. Now for this video, the songs I needed songs to peak between I believe 124 and 121. I'm I i do not think I'm at 121 yet though. Okay, the first one I had to buy from a European seller, but thank God it came in a pretty record time. And I do remember my old supervisor at Sam Goody saying he may have known this artist. Don't know for sure if that's true or not, but I do remember that. It's Tony Muscolo on the um, Modern Voices Productions label and a single called I Want Love. Good stuff. Next up, the second of two CD singles, a, a double-sided maxi single by a group called Tribe. Believe, I, believe me, you know you know about as much as, about Tribe as I do. If you know anything about this band, leave a uh, comment. Tribe, it's called So In Love, that was a single, and Just You and I, the B-side. I don't believe it came with the cover art. The one I had to put for iTunes was the back. Okay. Next up, a rapper, not one that I was familiar with or terribly fond of in the 1990s as I didn't live down south or down in, out, 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 out in California or than that. New York didn't play him. However, he was on a major label so it's something that had to be done right. That's Rodney O. What, what you gotta say. The album's from 1997 and the single was What You Gotta Say. Up next is an artist I had heard of. My brother turned me on to him with songs like Erase Racism and Streets of New York. Great stuff when he was doing when he was with DJ Polo. This was his first solo album. That's Cool G Rap and 456. And the single I got the album for was called It's a Shame. The other single he had big was big for him was Fast Life. Up next is a group that set a record for the for number ones on the country charts, consecutive number ones in country in the country charts in the 80s and early 90s. We're talking about Alabama. Now, Alabama was way past their country crossover days of songs like Feel So Right, The Closer You Get, and um, Love in the First Degree when they put this album out. But it did have some bottom-of-the-chart success with a title cut and a really great song called Angel is Among Us. It's Alabama and Reckless. Next up, we have um, a group from Canada, I believe they're from Canada, called Solid Harmony. Now, they were on a... Jive Records dance compilation with the, with, the, with, the, with the hit from this album in the 1990s. And that's where I had them before, but I never had the original album. I had to order it from Canada. And it's called Solid Harmony. The single we're looking at here is I'll Be There For You, Solid Harmony. Up next is an album I could swear I had. And I was talking to my friend who was a big fan of this artist today. And he said he didn't even like this album when it came out. Surprising to me. Anyway, um, I have a, a good number of his other albums don't need those, but I do have this. I didn't have this one. And it's one of the Def Squad, Red Man, Reggie Nobles, and What the Album. The song I was looking for on the album was called let me get it, Blow Your Mind. Also on here is Time for Some Asking, is um, Defunk. But Blow Your Mind's the one you know. Oh, Tonight's the Night. Tonight's the Night. The Night is the other song. It's really good. Okay, next up I have Lords of Acid. They're more in the house dance sound. And the album's called Our Little Secret. And for the sake of this channel, I'm not going to repeat the title of it, but it's the uh, pseudonym for Blank Cat. That's the name of the single on here. And the album is from 1997. The last album I have here, I don't know if it came with a cover when originally released, I didn't receive one. Satisfy with what I have, because I'm not so crazy at having to get it. But it's a group I know nothing about. On the Smile label. Now, the Smile label is the same one that had a Magic Carpet Ride by the Mighty Dubcats in the 1990s. We're talking about Two Bad Mice, Chaotic Chemistry. The single I was looking for for this album is called, let me get it, Bomb Scare, which comes in a UBX mix and an original version on here and an E94 
EOS Mix. So that's, <coughs> sorry. So that's what I got this week. Everything I bought this week. I know it was a lot. Look forward in future videos on Wednesdays for um, new, more um, of my um, getting for the CTI Records collection and more chart, sing chart albums, albums of, with chart singles on them as I've ordered more of those and they should be on the way. Anyway, I'm Nick S, the CD Man. This is my channel, the CD Man channel. If you like what you've heard, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the dinghy to be notified, and keep us in the physical media. I'm Nick S, the CD Man, and this has been what I've been purchasing on the CD Man channel. Have a great day, and keep us in that physical media.